Hi everyone, today I will show you something that uh, you can uh, really use in your day-to-day uh, -day sessions and uh, what inspired me to do this was the interview we had uh, with uh, Joff in the FMM uh, community. Uh, he says uh, that he uses specific plugins for uh, his uh, mixing sessions uh, depending on uh, what they add uh, to the mix a certain character and he's not the only one a lot of uh, people do do this as plugins nowadays uh, emulate uh, analog uh, machines so for that uh, point i have uh, here in my session two copies of the same track uh, one of my latest and uh, I have on uh, one of the channels uh, utility that uh, changes the phase so they can cancel each other out if I am to play those two tracks together we, we have nothing if I am uh, to go to one of the tracks now I have here a virtual mix rack from Slate Digital and it's a well known, of known fact that uh, they they are one of the uh, best uh, best uh, emulations of analog uh, gear um, we have here the uh, FGN uh, pretty Q and they say on the label that it's great on bass on guitars uh, and so on that uh, it thickens the sound and that's true it's a very good product uh, but what happens if we turn this on we immediately see that uh, it adds harmonics and we can hear those harmonic harmonics in the difference between the input sources in between track 1 and track 2 this is without changing any parameters on the, the VST now if I am to go to the master I have a spectrum here we we can see that indeed it adds a lot of harmonics in the lower registry as well as some ha some harmonics in the higher frequencies ideally if you want to see exactly the response of the plugin you would have uh, some noise here not uh, a linear noise uh, not um, not a track but yeah for example it's enough uh, now moving on I have here uh, SSL type EQ that is more transparent and if we are to turn this on let's see what happens again we can see the difference between the uh, first uh, audio channel and the second one we can immediately see the difference between the EQs And if we are to look at the spectrum without playing any sound, we can see the harmonics they add. So moving on, I have here in the chain an EQ8 from Ableton and uh, again tracks cancel each other out. I turn on EQ8, surprise EQ8 it's not adding anything. 
so it's a very precise EQ you can use this trusting that it doesn't change the sound in any in any way it doesn't add any any harmonics I think I have it no I don't have it in oversampling mode this is even more uh, transparent so this is a perfect uh, tool if you want to to be very precise if I am to do any change on the EQ you immediately notice the, the difference between the channel and the final example where we have where uh, we have uh, another tool for the from uh, Slay Digital a virtual tape machine and uh, without it uh, we have uh, signals can cancelling themselves out with the tone big surprise <laughs> This adds uh, volume, although uh, uh, we have uh, this uh, this input and output to to reduce. Uh, as as we increase the volume, we can reduce it, uh, and vice versa. But without uh, punching any uh, any um, buttons here. Uh <laughs> we uh, immediately it adds a lot a lot of uh, volume because it, it adds a lot of harmonics <coughs> so what uh, these techniques permits us to do we can see here clearly the character of the plugin because uh, we can hear the difference between between the channels and this uh, this used to be uh, when I got this plugin, I couldn't really hear what uh, it was doing. But uh, other than the volume, but uh, if we are to to change the settings while uh, the the music plays, you will will notice the difference. can uh, make an informed decision while you're mixing and for example I use uh, this setting uh, this setting yeah when uh, when I'm uh, adding uh, some uh, tape uh, saturation to my drums for because uh, as you can hear this setting uh, for example uh, adds uh, some pumping effect <laughs> for uh, a whole mix the fur tips and uh, this um, tape type uh, preserve transients better so it's it's all about making an informed decision of uh, what uh, the character of the plugin is so I hope uh, you guys uh, have now an idea of uh, how uh, the plugins in your arsenal are changing the the sound and uh, we'll see each other after the easter so happy easter everyone bye bye <laughs>